Hello everybody, it's me, Betts Golden. I am back with the Hedgehog Hollows January, uh, February, excuse me, 2019 kit. And if you remember correctly, the theme of it is bees. And for me, as a former grade school teacher and preschool teacher, I saw these sweet little bees and I thought preschool and kids. So I am going with that theme and for the month of February and a little bit into March, I'm going to be creating a party spread for a queen bee. Uh, she, I, this is geared for the little one probably between three and seven. Um, and we made a party hat last time and now we need to talk about the invites. So we're going to make the invitations today and the things that I'm going to use from the kit is this beautiful yellow micro fine glitter as well as this silk micro fine glitter in basic black the ch a couple of the chipboard pieces the stamp one of the sentiments that's have you heard the buzz the soft touch cardstock and the um, adhesive sheets from Elizabeth craft designs. So I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way because I have everything kind of ready to go. And basically what you're going to do is you are going to create something that would fit on a five and a half by five and a half or six by six card base. Um, and you would want to put your invite invitation on the back first. You're going to want to write out your invitation information back here first, you know, Who's it for? When? Where? Time? All that good jazz. And then you're going to uh, go ahead and start to mount this together. And I used from my stash a piece of black paper and a piece of yellow. They're cardstock. Um, and I just used a graduating circle in size. So I'm going to layer it up like this. And then on the top one, this one right here, I'm going to adhere to my yellow and I'm going to just cover that in some black glitter. I'm going to do that first and then I'm going to show you how we're going to layer this image and get this started. So the first thing I want to do, which this is the most time consuming for me, I swear, is just peeling off the back, the first layer off of this adhesive sheet. It takes me forever, it seems. I think it's the nails. I think it's the nails. Okay, and so I'm just going to, now this is super sticky. So um, once you pop this down, you are pretty much good to go. And that's pretty much gonna be it. So I hope, I hope, I hope that I got this right. Have a little bit of bubbling. Uh-oh, and I might be stuck with it. Let's see, yeah, I'm stuck with it. That's okay. All right, so from here, let's just lift this off. And then we are going to cover this with our basic black micro glitter. And it's really sticky, which is awesome because it holds the glitter wonderfully so make sure you put it in something that you can catch it and uh, definitely get that glitter back into the container and I'm really covering the, this very well and then from here we're gonna just lift this up with my tweezers because um, you know you have to be careful with glitter uh, I used to work with children so you know, we, we all knew of uh, the risk. If you play with glitter and then rub it in your eyes, you can cause some damage. So when you're handling glitter, be super careful to keep it out of your eyes. And if you're with kids, just keep an eye on them as well. Okay. And there we go. Nice and bumblebee-like. Don't worry about that up in the corner. I can hide it. And then I'm taking just a um, dry, soft paintbrush, and that really gets all my excess back into my jar nicely, and I don't make too much of a mess. 
So I'm going to save all that good stuff because I need this jar for another part of this um, card. I need my tray. All right. So I am done with my black glitter for this particular um, project. So from here, I'm going to start to assemble this and I'm going to put my sentiment down in this corner. So since I have that yucky corner right there, I am going to move this like that and I'm going to place it like so. But before I do that, I need to run, get this mounted. And I am going to mount all of this with some pop dots. I want some dimension on it. That's why it's super important that you already have down your, your information, your invite for your party on the back. All right. And the black goes down first. I'm using that wonderful cardstock from Elizabeth Designs Craft. I really like it. You know what's cool about it? One side's smooth, one side um, has a texture on it. And the textured side, actually, I would use with, with um, some colored pencils. I think that would work wonderfully with that. Okay, so I have on the back here some glitter. And the reason why I'm, I'm trying to kind of get that off is because um, glitter will, um, excuse my dog, glitter uh, will not be adhesive's best friend. So we need to do that. Now you notice how I'm laying this time my foam adhesive on, I layered it on the corners and now I'm layering it on the uh, the around the circle kind of on the edge instead of in the corners that makes any sense and the reason is because if I put it all in the corners this part will be super flimsy and weak and so I kind of want it to be equal you know what I mean so that's important all right so from here I'm making sure that my ugly sides right there and I just want to line it up fairly well. This is a whimsical type, you know, party. It's for a little girl or a little boy. A little boy can be a bee, right? Okay, so from here I have some dimension on this. And I did that on purpose because on the inside, I want to use some glitter chipboard pieces. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your favorite chipboard from the kit and you are simply going to uh, dab it in some black ink. Let that black ink dry and then you're going to take one of the Elizabeth Designs adhesives, um, um, adhesive sheets and you're going to pop that down just like this. And you're going to remove, so you're going to remove one side so you have a sticky side one side that's sticky and you're going to pop down your chipboard on top of it and then what you're going to do from there is you are going to cover this just like we did with with our card right up here you're going to cover this with your glitter and i am going to be using the yellow glitter and i did use the um i did use um black ink because I want it, you know, to, to resemble a butter, a uh, um, uh, bumblebee, you know, a little bee. And then I am tapping this on, kind of smooshing it in just to make sure that I do have some good coverage on this. And then I'm going to pick it up, my tweezers once again, tap it off and boom. Now we have a really pretty glitter chipboard piece that is we have to just cut down and there's already adhesive on the back so it'll make it super super easy to put onto our project alrighty so let me just save my glitter again this glitter is fabulous this is the second project this month that I have used this on and I am just super 
duper impressed with it. I love it. It is so nice and it really sticks because it's so ultra fine. It's funny, I have glitter in my hair. I got it everywhere on me. <laughs> okay. Now I do want to take my, um, sorry, I'm tapping off my brush, my brush and just really try to wipe away as much of the excess as I can. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and it doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to go around the image and just cut the outside off. And it really doesn't take that long. You go in with your scissors at a slight angle, like so, and it will just take it all. It'll get it pretty good. I mean, we'll have to go over and clean it up, but you know, it's all good. All right, so now I have that cute little image and I actually have gone ahead and made up some more pieces. This is the other piece. This is my other piece. And this is my final piece. And then I also have my sentiment that I have already stamped. Have you heard the buzz? So we're gonna go ahead and put our pieces inside the center of our invite first. And then we will um, finish it off with our title. So I'm just gonna remove the backing off of this. So it'll be its own little, it's already has adhesive on it because I use those adhesive sheets. Sorry. And for the sake of time, I'm actually just going to use some of my multi-grip. Um, I always have had a hard time getting it off. So just that's a me thing. So go ahead. If you're doing this, it, you can take the back off. But uh, I don't want to sit here and have you guys watch me do that forever. So I'm going to put that one right there. And then I'm going to put this one kind of down over here and then this one up here so I'm just creating you know background and then I want the bee to kind of take center stage right there and I'm gonna put my sentiment right there so I'll have the bee a little bit farther down go and then since I am adhering this to glitter you guys you can't use just regular old adhesive you have to use a glue I like the beacon multi grip they gave it this to me at creativation and I have seriously been using it everywhere and then have you heard the buzz and so that's really cute for someone just to open up and be like hmm what is this about and they can flip it over and then they can see the invite to the queen bees party. Now there is some um, white space in here. So I'm going to go ahead and just add my uh, crystal drops and ebony black on this. So I'm just going to randomly place a few around this. And we're going to call it good. So that's a sweet little invite for your queen bees party. Next time when I'm with Hedgehog Hollows, I'm going to show you how to make a cupcake topper. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Hey, I also want to know what is your trick for getting the adhesive sheets off? 
because I can't do it with my nails. And the thing is, is these are like my nails. <laughs> they're not fake. I have them dipped, but they're my nails. So it's, and I don't want to trim them. <laughs> so anyway, um, I can't even imagine what it would be like if they were acrylic. Oh my goodness. So tell me how you remove the adhesive off of the backing of this. Um, in a timely fashion. I would really appreciate that because I haven't learned the trick yet. Anyway, if you're interested in the Hedgehog Hollow subscription box, make sure you head on over to their website and check that out. Um, it's pretty fantastic, good value. Until next time, I'm Bets Golden and happy crafting.